everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in the previous video, we discussed what a service locator anti pattern and service locator basically gives you access to unbounded set of volatile dependencies. It actually makes testing harder. It does not allow you to reuse your components easily in many, many, many problems that occur because of uh, use of this anti pattern. So ease of um, moving away from Service locator is, is by using composition root and constructor injection or like property injection, uh, as we've already discussed in previous videos. So we'll discuss composition root very soon. Today, we will be discussing ambient context. So ambient context is less harmful than service locator, but it is it still creates lots of lots of problems in code bases. So let's um, get into the example. Here we have it. Um, an app that displays today's date. So today's like 3rd of December and whenever we tap show next screen, it shows the next screen. It just adds one day to today's date. So like pretty simple, but there is a bug in this app. If I go back and come back to this screen, it actually shows a different value than it was showing earlier. And if I go back and forth, it actually shows another value. So um, let's examine what's actually a problem here and what's actually a bug and how can we solve it. So current view controller actually shows like today's date. It shows it with the use of current date formatter, which has like a static method, current formatted date, and current formatted date creates the formatter, sets the format, and then gets the string out of it. But the the major issue here is that it has current, static current, which is variable, which is mutable and it can be changed. So actually tomorrow view controller, whenever it's viewed at load uh, is fired, actually gets the calendar, adds one day to, to, to current date and then mutates the date. That's why whenever we go back and forth between screens, it actually shows the different screen because it always adds one day to the previous date. And so, the difference, so the difference between singleton and ambient context is because is in the uh, mutability of the current. So if it was something like, um, like let's say a singleton pattern, the current would be let right because by definition of singleton pattern, it has it always has private initializer because we can create one instance of uh, one instance of the class and then it has like static accessor to get the current or like a shared instance of it. So um, ambient context looks very similar to singleton, but um, it gives access to um, volatile dependency, which is date. Date is volatile dependency because it changes from time to time. So today's 3rd of December, but like tomorrow it would be like 4th of December. And um, it always changes changes because of the time uh, time zone. Here, here I have like two tests, like view, current view controller and like tomorrow view controller. Whenever we call it viewed at load, just like changes the label, like sets the label text, like very simple. Today's like 3rd of December, so it should show 3rd of December on current view controller and 4th of December on tomorrow view controller. And let me run the tests. So if I run tests, oh, it actually doesn't pass because this test was run first and it changed the current. But if I go back, and like run test one more time, it actually passes, right? Because there is a global state and test interdependency. And because tests are run in different order, um, this actually causes a problem. To fix that problem, we need to actually set a static a date for both of them so that they do not collide with each other. So uh, we have like December 5th, this value is taken from the internet, it's just like Unix timestamp, and then we create date from the time interval since 1970 initializer. Um, and then since like it's, it is December 5th, we need to expect that it would be December 5th for um, tomorrow view controller to make the values a bit different. I've chosen like December 6th and then we do the same dance and then um, this should be December 7th. Remember that tomorrow view controller adds one day to the date. And if I run the tests multiple times, they would they would be passing, right? Because they both have their own internal, like own isolated state. And as you can see, um, 
there is like temporal coupling because we need to remember to set current date upfront. So that's uh, actually creating lots of problems. And another use of ambient context that I could think of is like use of loggers, right? So um, we would like to log anything and like everything in the app. And if we go to like current view controller, we can start logging and the message would be like um, current view controller view did load, right? And whenever we select the tomorrow button, like show next screen, it would like um, show tomorrow VC. It would be logging show tomorrow VC. Then in tomorrow view controller, it would be like um, like um, displayed displayed current date, like t tomorrow the tomorrow's date. And the same um, issue here because we're accessing volatile dependency via static method. And the reason for a logger to be a static dependency because it actually does some disk read writes, right? Depending on what kind of library library you use, it might be doing different things. Like some other libraries might be sending um, some reports to like remote service or like if you are using analytics, right? Analytics is also kind of a prevalent and is used in most of the code bases. So you want to log whenever the view loads, whenever you tap on a button, whenever you scroll off screen. And most of the engineers and like personally I've seen in the code bases tend to use like static accessors to get things done. But um, this is not the way to do it. And as you remember, the um, easiest solution to this would be to inject uh, current date to um, view controller. And we can actually be sure to pass, to always pass current date. Like, let's say, let me create a variable here. So if I inject it from here, it would always be current date, right? And let me use, um, let me not use the static method, but like, use static method, but like create another one from date, which takes date and I pass the date myself instead of using the global one. And if we run the app, it still shows uh, today's date, right? And let's do the same thing with the tomorrow view controller. So tomorrow view controller would need um, uh, tomorrow's date, right? Which is date as well. And here we would be using tomorrow's date instead of current from the current date for matter, which is like a mutable global state. And we're not gonna reset it. We're gonna just use um, from method and um, pass our tomorrow date that's that we get via initializer. And the only part that's broken is like this this part. And remember that uh, when I'm mutating the state, we always get current date whenever we go from current view controller to tomorrow view controller. So let's run the app and see uh, what happens. So it's showing correctly 12.03. If I go to the next screen, it's like 12.04, come back. Again, 12.04, again, 12.04. And um, that's basically the solution um, to not use um, static global mutable state. Even though I'm using um, static method here, it's better to not use it because um, it would be much more ideal for us just to inject a string instead of trying to do some value transformation in the view controller. But like it's a um, whole another story um, and we're not gonna be touching on it today. And tomorrow view controller does basically the, that, the same thing. Um, it does not mutate any state uh, as we've seen previously. It just like gets the date, adds one day to it and like displays um, a string on the, on the screen. And uh, remember that the only part that got affected is the scene delegate. We again created a current date, which is like date today. And then we passed them to the current view controller. Uh, Remember that ambient context gives um, access to volatile dependency, even though it doesn't give access to unbounded set of volatile dependencies as in the example with service locator, but um, mut mutability of the global state of the of uh, 
static variable is actually dangerous as we've seen um, with the current example. And I guess uh, this would be it for this video. And thanks a lot for watching.